100 Gex, 100 Gex. Once again, I am over in Duarte, California. I uh, went to Denny's because today I got my birthday freebie from Denny's. Um, it was good. I had some coffee. and uh, I made a little video that way about that if you want to see it. Uh, but anyway, I was having my dinner, my, my, my dinner, my breakfast. Breakfast for dinner or dinner for breakfast, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I was having that. And while I was there, there was a table kind of in front of me. Well, in, yeah, kind of in front of me and to my left. And there was four people sitting there. One was a, there was two young girls, um, looked like maybe high school, and another that were that I believe are Japanese. Now, the reason I say I believe they're Japanese is because they were speaking Japanese. That doesn't mean they are Japanese. You could be a Caucasian guy and speaking Spanish or speaking Chinese or speaking whatever. Um, but they did appear to be Japanese to me, and they were speaking Japanese with each other. <clears throat> and there was a white woman, probably in her 40s maybe, and another girl that looked like it could be her daughter. So it looked like two friends that were, uh, or maybe, I don't know, they could all have been adopted for all I know. But it was a woman with a blonde hair, girl with blonde hair, and they looked related. And two Japanese girls that could be related maybe by adoption or maybe as an exchange student kind of a thing, I don't know. We do get a lot of those this time of year that they call, I guess they call it like foreign exchange students. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share for all this great information about 100 Gex and, and, and people in Denny's. But they were sitting there, they're eating, then one of them started pointing, like, you know, you, know, you point behind your hand like this, like, oh, over there, over there. But so they, Hopefully that people can't see you pointing or whatever, and you know why their hand like this. And obviously they're pointing, <laughs> unless they're drawing a smiley face on the hand or something. Uh, but, <clears throat> so anyway, so she's pointing, and then she said something in Japanese to her friend or her sister or whatever it was. Uh, they look like they could be sisters, maybe about one or two years difference in age. And one of them said something, 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 one hundred gex. And I heard one hundred gex, you know, clearly. So I go, oh, I bet they're. I bet they're thinking that I'm the guy from that thing, from, from 100 Gex Fritos and Doritos. If you haven't seen that video, <coughs> go watch it. You can, you, you're on YouTube right now. All you can do is go to that little space bar up top, not space bar, the uh, search bar, and put 100 Gex Fritos and Doritos, and you can watch the video. You may see me. You may or may not. Look carefully. You may or may not see me. But then another one, the other one said, um, Japanese girl said something to the other to the other girl that we're talking back and forth and they said to the the Caucasian girl who's who's looks like she understood some Japanese and she said something to them in Japanese but they spoke English. And so the, the, the two Japanese girls spoke Japanese and English. The white girl, Caucasian, whatever you want to say, what are you allowed to say nowadays? Uh, the girl or can you say girl? I don't what can you say can't say girl. She did have yellow hair. Yellow is that blonde still? I don't know. But anyway, she said to them something, and then they laughed, and then they said something about 100 gex again. And the mom said 100 gex like this, and they said, and then one of them said two girls, and they pointed to the girl's hair, and they said something. I couldn't understand. They said it was, it was it was in English, but they pointed to her hair. I think they were saying that the 100 gex have hair like that girl who had blonde hair. That girl had really, really light blonde hair, you know, the kind of hair that turns green when they swim in, in the chlorine in the summer. Do they still do that? I don't know. The girl's hair will start turning like green from that, from the chlorine, if you had really light hair. So, anyway, they were talking about that, and then um, the mom said something, and then they pointed back to me, kind of a little more obviously, obvious, and said, Danny DeVito. And then the mom shook her head like, no, that's not Danny DeVito. Um, and they said, and they put the phone up to the bed and typed on the end. And then I hear the, the electronic sound of 100 Gex singing Fritos and Doritos. So I go, oh, then now they're watching the video. And they got to one point in the video and they pointed to me. And then they laughed and they watched a little bit more and they pointed to me again. So then they stopped and they were kind of looking over at me. I don't know if they were thinking, did he hear us or, or something? Or did 
they want me to hear them? I don't know. So I just kind of, you know, drink, at this point, I was just drinking coffee. And I already ate my food. And I was on my like, third cup of coffee. And I think Denny's has pretty good coffee. Uh, you have to pay for your coffee if you get your 100, your 100, 100, 100 gigs breakfast. If you get your birthday breakfast, you have to pay for your coffee. It was worth it. I got a, you get a couple of eggs, you get some pancakes, and you get some, some, uh, some uh, you know, bacon or whatever. And that's free for your birthday. It's called the like, special slam or something like that. Um, it does have a hash browns. It doesn't have, you know, choice of toast or English muffin. But anyway, so I just having coffee. Um, and then they, they said, no, no, no. What did she up shaking her head? No, no, no. And the Japanese girl kept shaking her head. No, no, no. And then the mom kind of was like, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. And they were like, give her the go ahead, go ahead. So they walked up to me, uh, the blonde teenage girl and one of the two teenage Japanese, who I assume was Japanese, I would assume the lady was a teenager. And I assume she had one here and I assume she's female. So a lot of assumptions on this nowadays. I think a lot of that's going to change now that Trump's in office um, or going into office. I think that we're going to go back to some of the, it's okay if it looks like a girl. If it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, right? Uh, it's probably a duck. Uh, so I think it's safe to say that. And if I did say, oh, this young lady, oh, I'm not a young lady. I'm a they or a Z or a whatever it is. But so anyway, so the Japanese, one of the, the older Japanese girl, the daughter, the, well, so the daughter, the blonde haired young lady, they walked up to me. And you know, you put your hands like this, like if you go to a parade rest when you're another parade rest, and you have to lock your hands like this, kind of behind your back. But they did it like in the front of their back, and they're in front of their back, in their front, and they kind of like this, and put their head down like this, like to, to show uh, that they're shy. You know, it's, I guess they would say like the submissive posture, but they weren't being submissive and I wasn't being aggressive. Instead, they were just being polite, I think. They kind of look like choir girls or something. From, but anyway, so they walk up to me and she says to me, the, 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 the white girl says to me, I don't think the white girl knew who the 100 gigs were either. I'm not really sure. So the white girl says, excuse me, excuse me, sir, not to bother. You know, the people said, may I ask you a question? I hope I'm not bothering you. As I said, they bothered you. And they weren't bothering me. And she said, were you Danny DeVito in, 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 and I go, was I Danny DeVito? Why? No, I was on Danny DeVito. What, would I still be Danny DeVito if I was Danny DeVito? And we both, we were all laughing. I mean, in the 100 gigs video, I go, what are you talking about? Fritos and Doritos? And so they were like this. They, put, they all were like, oh, like, like, it is him. Because well, how would I, an old white man, know about Fritos and Doritos unless I was on that video? And I said, yeah, yep, that was me. All right. And they, they couldn't believe it. They, it was like they saw a huge movie star, which uh, was not the case, um, but they said to me, um, can we have, can, I, I know you're having coffee, but, or you're, you're, no, I know you're drinking, I think she said, but can we have a photo, do you think? And I said, oh, sure, sure, so I stood up and I took a photo of those two, and then I pointed to the rest of the family, said, they don't like the 100 Gex, and they go, no, but my sister's very, very shy, and I said, well, let's, what if all four of us, or all five of us, and she said, okay, okay, and then, so they came over, the mom, and, and the other girl, so now it's, a, it's those four and me, and I was kind of in the middle, two on one side, two on the other side, and the waiter said, can you want me to take photos for you, so he took a couple of photos, and then he shook my hand and said, what, what's this all about, and, and how do they know you, and I said, oh, it's from a, from a video, and he said, what video is that, I go, 100 gex, oh, I love the 100 gex, he, and then he told me about something, I, I did see some more 100 gex, not just the video I was in, I, when they're kind of running around, it looks like, they, um, they're like, a, maybe in a truck stop or a truck place that sells big rigs and they're kind of talking, I don't know what they're singing about, but, um, and I like them, I, I think that they're interesting, I, I can't really, it's not what kind of music they play, well, it's not like bubblegum, it's, it's really kind of like techno, uh, and, and it's got a kind of heavy metal guitar sound to it too, it's kind of all over the place, but I was wondering, it, the, the, that happening again, there's my, my, I forgot I had it on, there's my, my continuous glucose monitor, uh, sensor, I had to call them, it's not working properly, but, um, they, I was wondering, is it something like this? I, lots of times I'll see somebody, maybe when I was going to like Mount Sac uh, a few years ago, taking uh, web design, I'd see somebody with a cool shirt and it'd have a cat, and the cat would be a cool looking drawn cat. I said, oh, what's that from? It was from Japanese anime, or this from a video game. And um, uh, we wouldn't know what that was here, but it's very big over there. You know, I mean, I'm not, we in all of the United States wouldn't know what it was, but it's not like, it wasn't like Snoopy or Charlie Brown or Mickey Mouse. It was something more uh, exclusive to that 
video game or that genre, how do you say it? Um, so I wasn't sure. Um, and so I, I didn't know where that came from. The interest in um, that, was it just that they watched enough of that video to see that it looks like I could have been the guy from that video? Obviously, I wasn't Danny DeVito, but um, I was. I play him on TV. And I, that's weird. I wonder if something, if that video is really popular there they, they were talking they were talking about the hunter gex tree have i ever, ever have i ever visited the hunter gex tree and i said no i i have not but i do know that there's a hunter gex tree uh they talked about that in uh, only murderers in the building or whatever um so uh yeah i knew about that and it was, it was kind of weird because i was wondering where did that come from is the hunter gex a really big techno rock with an alternative rock type band in japan uh, we, we listened to the band Hiroshima out here, I guess. But, um, yeah, and, and that's where, where, where is that coming from? Is it is it is that just something that's really popular there? Was there something new about the 100 Gex? Uh, was that like my other the greatest hit album? Do they have albums anymore? I mean, everything's streaming now. Maybe it started streaming again. Maybe there's some kind of a Christmas offering that, you know, that, you know there's 10 100 Gex songs. I mean, you can download it for someone for their birthday or Christmas. Or, I don't know. But it's interesting. Then they asked me for an autograph. I signed my autograph four times. So uh, they had these little like placemats. They looked like the Denny's placemat, but it wasn't like torn like they tore it at their table. I think they asked. No, they did. They asked a lady, one of the ladies that worked there, and she brought them up. So it looks like what Denny's does is when they have a placemat, maybe it says Happy Thanksgiving, and they have a whole bunch left. They cut them for. It looks like maybe they cut them for scratch paper. They write on the other side. I, I I don't know like. To, to the manager like manager John said he could cover the 9 to 5 shift tomorrow for Susan Bill or something they leave it taped to the wall I don't know but uh, yeah it's kind of interesting have, do you know anything about that do you know anything about the 100 Gex is there a resurgence of that video is there I don't can't imagine there be a part 2 to that video uh, kind of told a story um, of the 100 Gex coming to town but since I'm I was in the city in which we filmed that video I thought maybe that had something to do with it I don't know I don't know I know that if you take photos of people you can do facial recognition and I someone told me that they they checked to make sure it was me before they talked to me for uh, for something I had done was it nip tuck no it wasn't nip tuck here it was but they took a photo of me and, and, it, and, and, and they typed in like something about what it was it was a commercial they typed in the commercial thing and then they took a photo of me and then it said this is the actor who portrayed this person in this commercial? So I don't know how that works. Is that Google Lens? I'm so I'm so technically s stupid. But anyway, 100 gex. I've asked you guys out there. Speaking of 100, I've asked you 100 times. Please subscribe, like, share. We try to see how many new subscribers I can get from the night before my birthday to yesterday, which was the first, and I think it was 10. We got 10. That's not bad. If I the way I look at it, if I can get five new subscribers a day. It's about 150 a month. That's not bad. So my channel grows organically. I'm, you know, I'm not buying. I'm not buying subscribers. So I want my channel to organically grow because a lot of people understand this. If I go and spend money and I get, let's say, a thousand subscribers, and 1,000 of those are from, you know, Bangladesh, India, or no, Bangladesh, or you know, places where, you know, not even Bangladesh, places that don't speak English. So. There's a thousand people that get paid a couple of pennies each to subscribe to my channel. And I get the 1,000 subscribers. I pay for the 1,000 subscribers. The, the company pays the people at the, um, they call them bot farms. They're just pushing buttons and joining. They're not really a bot farm because a bot is a, a robot. These are actually people. But the impact they have on my channel would be similar to a bot, a bot being a robot. Because if you don't speak English and you don't have an interest in maybe the 100 gex or losing weight, because people usually find my channel, find it through things like this, about the, this meter. They'll search, they'll be searching something and my video pops up about that. I do have videos about this one coming out at 2 p.m. Uh, I don't know what time it is right now because I'm using my phone. I think it's around 12.30. In about an hour and a half or so, I have a new video coming out about using this, about how I started using it. And is it working? Right now it's not working. i got to call them when I get home. But um, they, uh, they find my channel by searching something or they, they, my niche is considered to be healthy living, a healthy lifestyle. So if they don't speak English, they have no interest in this, are they gonna watch a single video? No, no. Some of them, they have to watch a video because if you buy 
if you buy subscribers, they'll say they they'll watch videos, and what they mean by watch videos is they will they'll subscribe. They turn the, on one video for like twenty seconds, and then they go to the next guy. Subscribe twenty seconds, next guy, and they get a couple of pennies for doing that. So that's not worth it. I don't want that. I don't need that. I don't want people to actually watch my videos. I want people to comment and say things like, "Hey, David, I like the hundred gex too." Well, the hundred gex, woohoo! You know what? One time I ate a full family size bag of Fritos while watching the football game, and my team lost, but it was okay because I love eating Fritos. Whatever it is, the comments help me too. So please, please, please subscribe over there. Boop, 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 boop. If you can like, if you can share. And if you can comment, those are very important things to me to build my channel up. And if you subscribe to me um, and I see that you subscribe, usually people that make comments, I go, you have to have a channel to to watch the videos or you have to, I guess, I guess you can be a guest to watch the videos, but to make comments on someone else's video, you have to have a Google, a, a, a YouTube account. So I usually will go ahead and I will subscribe to their channel as well. So if you want me to subscribe to your channel, let me know. This is in the comment section. Hey, David, please subscribe to my channel too. I subscribe to yours. Please subscribe to mine. I'll show you mine. You show me yours, right? Uh, the, the old joke about little kids show, um, showing their privates. But these aren't privates. These are publics. These are videos that I will watch. Uh, if you have a niche that I like, I'll watch it. I did watch one guy's video. I had no idea what it was about. Um, he teaches some kind of fitness class for for seniors and it was like a water aerobics kind of thing I don't, I don't really know much about that and I watched like two of his videos and then a third video came up and suggested of his videos and I watched three videos and something I never would have watched if he hadn't subscribed and told me he subscribed to my channel well, could I please watch you know subscribe he thought I would just probably just hit the subscribe button but I did watch three videos I think a total of maybe around nine or ten minutes for those three videos take care everyone have a great day today is two days after my birthday two days after my birthday Take care. We do have the contest. Don't forget, we have a contest, and it's gonna be we're gonna be drawing in eight days. In eight days, we're gonna be drawing for that Gans Bear. So go back that way, or maybe I'll put it in here once again. We're gonna have a comment picker contest in eight days. We have three people signed up now. So if you're the fourth person, you got a one in four chance, right? Twenty five percent chance. Uh, uh, you're, you're, you will be twenty five percent of the total number of those that have entered. So you got to make a comment on that video. On that video, I guess I will put it back in here once again. I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm gonna go ahead into the post office. I got a few things to do, and then I'll probably fix this video up for release um, today. Maybe I'll have it come out tomorrow. This will probably come out tomorrow. This will probably come out tomorrow. Take care. Which will be, which will be Tuesday, and at that point, there will only be that'll be the uh, today's the second. That'll be the third. And we're doing that'll be only seven days away. Seven days away. So anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.